Hello everyone, in this particular video we are going to learn steps to locate or detect the errors. As of now we have studied the different types of errors. We also saw a set of transactions where we were supposed to identify the error and also rectify the same with the help of rectification entries. All of those cases were the transactions which specifically mentioned that there was some particular error. However, there is a possibility that the trial balance will be provided and the difference in the trial balance will be given but the exact error because of which the difference has arised will not be given. In that particular case, we will have to follow a specific procedure, we will have to follow the specific steps and locate or detect all of these errors which have led to the difference in the trial balance. So, this is a situation where the errors will not be given to you, you will just be given the trial balance where the debit side total and the credit side total will be different. Based on that particular trial balance, we will have to take one by one each of these steps and then try to identify or locate the exact errors. So what are those steps and what is that exact procedure is what we are going to study in this particular video. So let's start. Whenever we come across a trial balance which does not agree, the very first step that we need to take is total the debit and the credit columns so that we can identify the exact amount of difference between the debit and the credit balances. So that becomes the first important step. So here we will identify the exact amount of difference that is shown by the trial balance. Once that is done, we will go to the sundry debtors and sundry creditors and check whether the balances that is the debit as well as the credit balances have been correctly incorporated in the trial balance. So the second important step that we need to take is go back to the sundry debtors and sundry creditors and check whether the balances of those debtors and creditors has been correctly given and arrived in the trial balance. So once the second step is done, now we are supposed to check whether the correct balances are posted and recorded in the correct column of our trial balance. That means whether the debit balances have been shown in the debit column and whether the credit balances are shown in the credit column. So that becomes the third important step that is to check whether the correct balances are recorded in the correct column. Once this is done, then go back and consider the amount of difference between the debit column and the credit column and then go back and check if any of the account balances had a balance of that particular difference. That means, for example, if the difference in the debit and credit column is rupees 5000, then go back to the balances and check if any of the accounts had a balance of rupees 5000. If that is the case, there is a possibility that that particular account was not recorded in the trial balance or not considered in the trial balance or maybe it was considered twice or recorded in the wrong column. So that becomes the fourth important step that is follow the trial and error technique with the difference between the debit and the credit columns of our trial balance. Now, it is very much possible that this particular error must have occurred 
at the very first step, that is at the time of recording in the original books, it is also very much possible that such error took place in the ledger account and therefore the fifth important step tells us to check the ledger that has been prepared and also to balance the ledger accounts again so as to check whether there is any error or there was any error while preparing the ledger accounts and also balancing the same. So the fifth important step is for checking the ledger accounts and also balancing them. With this we can identify whether all the transactions were correctly taken in the ledger account, whether the totaling or say the balancing of the ledger account was correctly done or no. Next, next step in this particular process is that of checking the totals and also the amounts that are carried forward from The next step in this particular process is to check whether the totals have been correctly calculated and also whether the amounts have been correctly carried forward from the subsidiary books. We know that the subsidiary books are nothing but the subdivision of our journal which is also, which is also known as the original books of entry. Whether all the original transactions are correctly taken into consideration is what we are going to check under step number 6 along with the totaling errors that may take place at the time of calculating the totals. So sixth important point talks about totals, say casting of the accounts and also the carry forward from the subsidiary books. Moving ahead to the seventh important point, this particular point says that whenever there is a difference in the trial balance, check all of the account balances with the check all of the account balances with the corresponding accounts in the previous period. So the seventh important point is talking about the balances or the accounts that can be checked with that of the previous year period. So that becomes the next important thing. So let us take it down. Once this is done, we can move on to the eighth important step which talks about the posting of the balances. So they say that posting of the various amounts. So they say that here we need to check whether all of the amounts are correctly posted or whether any of the posting is not been done. That means there are two possibilities that the posting is not been done and secondly it has been done but for a wrong amount. So here we need to check two things, check whether the correct amount is posted And if any posting is missed, missed or you can say is omitted. 
Once this is done and even if after following 8 important steps we are not able to identify the error then in that case there is just two. Then in that case there are just two options. Firstly check the complete books of accounts that is the original entry, the journal, the ledger, also the opening entries and then even if we are still not able to identify the error go to the suspense account and transfer the difference to the suspense account. So, List. So, with this we have completed the 8 important steps to locate the errors. Now, even after complying or even after using these 8 steps, if still we are not able to identify the particular error that has caused this difference, then in that case we will have to go back and check all the records that is all the entries even the origin even the opening entry and see if there are any transactions which were incorrectly recorded or if there were any transactions which were incorrectly posted. So, ninth important step talks about checking complete records. along with the opening entry. Opening entry is the one which is passed in order to carry forward or opening entry is the entry that is passed in order to bring forward all of the balances in the balance sheet so that they can be considered and taken into consideration for the current period also. So, not only the current periods records, but the opening entry where the assets and liabilities are being brought forward is also to be checked. Even after that particular checking of the complete record and the opening entry, if we are still not able to identify the error, then in that case there is just one option and that is to transfer the difference amount to the suspense account. So, Keep in mind that whenever there is a difference in the trial balance, we can follow these particular steps and try to identify the exact error. Once the error is identified, we can rectify the same and then the trial balance will tally. However, if we are not able to identify the difference, then in that case either you can check, then in that case you will first check the complete record from the original books of accounts to the last posting. And lastly, if still the error is not traceable, then in that case, we will have to transfer the difference to the suspense account. So, last step, transfer the difference to the suspense account. So, with this, now we very well know what are the important steps that we need to take if the trial balance is not agreed. I hope that each of these steps is now very clear to you and you will be able to identify the error very correctly with the help of these steps. Thank you.